The Salter-Harris classification is used to describe the zeal fractures, meaning fractures of the growth plate, and are therefore only seen in children. They are estimated to be present in up to one third of bony injuries in children and conveniently can be remembered with the mnemonic Salter. Knowing the names associated is key, so here's a recap. Long bones will usually have two growth plates, and as we said, these are also known as the physis. The epiphysis is the section on the end of the bone, remembered by epi, meaning on, and metaphysis is the part between the physis and diaphysis, remembered by meta, meaning between or next after the growth plate. The growth plate is made up of several layers, from the germinal or reserve zone nearest to the epiphysis, followed by the proliferative zone, hypertrophic zone, and zone of endochondral ossification, nearest the metaphysis. Most of the time it is the hypertrophic zone that is injured with these fractures. Now for the mnemonic. The S stands for slipped, which is type 1, and the fracture passes horizontally through the growth plate without involving bone. If the periosteum is interrupted, they may be displaced and appear as if the long bone has slipped, but if it is not displaced, these can easily be misdiagnosed as a sprain, as they may not be clearly seen on an x-ray. Type 1 makes up around 5-7% to of all physeal fractures and feature a good prognosis. A is for above, meaning it passes horizontally through the growth plate and then involves the metaphysis. This is usually a vertical or oblique fracture. Approximately 75% of physeal fractures are type 2, and they also have a favourable prognosis. Type 3, or lower, passes horizontally through the growth plate and then involves the epiphysis, typically featuring a vertical fracture through the epiphysis and into the articular cartilage. Around 7-10% to of physeal fractures are type 3. Because the reserve and proliferative zones of the growth plate are involved in these cases, there is a poorer prognosis, which includes growth disturbance or arrest, and arthritis, as a result of incongruity of the joint. Most of these cases will need open reduction and internal fixation. The T is for through, or type 4, which is typically a vertical fracture passing through four different sections. The metaphysis, the physis, or growth plate, epiphysis, and then into the articular cartilage. These make up around 10% of cases, and like type 3, often feature complications and require orith. In the type 5, the growth plate has been damaged without being displaced, for example through crushing. The R in this case stands for ruined. These are very rare with less than 1% of cases, but do feature the worst prognosis, often being diagnosed in retrospect as a result of growth disturbance or growth arrest. The classification actually goes on to 9, but for the most part, only 1 to 5 are routinely used today.